Hey everybody, it's Final Flame Productions here. Today I'm doing a little uh, tutorial for people making movies, machinimas, cinematics, whatever you want to call them, in Fortnite. So when you're playing Fortnite, if you go to the C Career tab and go to Replays, you in there you will find all your uh, the uh, battle royales that you you took part in. So all you have to do is play them, play your battle royale, play your your match and when it's when you're finished when you die or if you win you go into career mode and you go into the replay mode tab and then it will load you into the game and from there uh, you can start doing your uh, edits with your camera angles and whatnot so the first feature I want to talk about is it's, it's the little, little clock symbol there that I've highlighted you click on that and then you move the uh, on the PS4 in a way if you move the left and right directional button you can pick where um, you can pick where you go in the timeline so you can if you want to go into the very end of the clip or the middle of the clip and decide where you want to start editing if there's a specific bit you want to uh, make uh, do your shots with you can go to there uh, the next feature I want to show you is that it's it's a pretty simple one. Is you press triangle, it's the pause and play. So if you want to pause a clip and try to figure out which camera angle you're going to use, use the triangle button to pause and play. It's um, you'll probably be using it quite a lot if you're making uh, machinimas and films like me. So the the net the, there's there's two speeds that you want to want to be interested in. Uh, the one in the middle there, you see the little minus and the plus, and you've got you can go up and down you with the directional buttons. That's the speed of the video or the speed of the actual um, the speed of yeah the speed of the video, the speed of the, the actual gameplay being played. So if you want to have a slow mo uh, gunfight or if you want to have a slow mo uh, shot of your character running, you put that way down to ten or put it. There's there's all different numbers there. You can put it back up to the quickest is uh, 4.00. So that's just the speed of your your character moves, the speed of the world moving. Um, so it's you should pick that whenever whichever fits the style of your video. If it's some sort of showcase cinematic or movie, a bit of slow motion can go a good way. Um, and then the speeding it up probably has its purposes too. So there you can mess around with the speed and you can uh, then use your drone to come in with the analog stick and you can get your shots that you want. Um, and the drone has its own speed as well so uh, with square and zero you can do the drone speed. So by drone I mean that's the camera moving around, the, the camera drone. So if you press square that lowers the decreases the speed of the drone so it's really slow moving and that's good if you want to have a little bit more control with the analog stick while you're moving it or the O buttons it will move really really fast as you can see there and it's kind of out of control but if, if you mess around with the speed you can get the whichever speed that suits your video or suits the kind of shot you're trying to get but if you put this, the drone up to up the very highest speed, it's a good way of traveling around the world and getting to places you want to get to. The L1 and R1 button, that is the, your zoom feature, so I have the, the camera in front of the character now. And if you use the L1 and R1, that zooms in or zooms out the camera so you can get really get in close and get some nice cinematic uh, shots. And Because you, you can move the camera in close with the analog stick but moving you can see the difference here if you zoom out and move the camera in it doesn't look quite as cinematic but if you if you uh, use the R1 button to zoom real close and move the camera in you can get a really nice close-up shot of your character which is usually what I try to do with a lot of my shots try to get a close-up cinematic shots um, and I always use the uh, there's still different camera angles with the R the R3 button you can uh, go through the there's a gameplay camera there's drone follow but I always use the drone free because you can you can move the camera angles you move the camera around yourself the drone around yourself and get whichever views you want 
uh, and the these little kind of back and forth buttons here uh, to the right and left of the play button they just kind of go back a couple of seconds or um, depending on which I think it's depending on the speed you have of the video um, you can go back and time a little bit just if you want to go slightly back um, so you can they're, they're quite useful as well if you want to go back a little bit if you made a mistake with your camera angle and the you can see your your PSN code there, your PSN uh, name. You can go left and right and go through all the different players that were in that lobby in that game, and you can tr you can look at there. You can mix cinematics with their gameplay as well. And you can see me now panning o over here. That's what's so good about the drone-free camera. You can go around the world. I'm not sure how far you can go. You can go pretty far, and I don't think the game quality dips. Um, and you can look around and get some cool kind of s scenic shots or um, if you're trying to make kind of some sort of um, some sort of movie or if you want if you're making a showcase video and you want to do all these cool little kind of shots of scenery and hills and trees and cars or stuff like that you can use a drone free camera to do those and uh, it's a nice feature to mix in with um, it's a good way of testing out your camera angles instead of having to try and do it on characters which is takes a while to get used to doing camera angles with characters because they're moving so quickly and uh, making it look good so that's all my that's the basic steps that you need to know um, I will hopefully do some more tutorials on Fortnite replay mode please subscribe if you like my videos um, do lots of Fortnite and GTA 5 videos so See you around soon.